Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chumi. I make videos every week to add value to you. I'd like it if you would consider subscribing to this channel so that you're notified every week when I do upload. Today, I wanted to talk about your dressing habit, yours, mine, um, everyone's. You know, when you're dressing up, there's a lot of things to consider. For women especially, you've got to think about clothes, you have to think about accessories like your jewelry, your handbag, your shoes, maybe even scarf, a lot of other things to think about. I didn't realize this at all, but last year when I put myself on a self-imposed ban, I realized that I needed a lot of handbags. I only had probably one or two handbags throughout last year. One broke and then I bought another one to replace it, but I wasn't happy with it at all. But at the end of my own um, self-ban, I realized that I needed handbags and I have specific preference when it comes to handbag. I like certain models and certain designs. I like how it looks like. I like it to be practical, to be functional, but I'm very, very particular about the cost and what I pay. I like some of those designs on those expensive handbags, you know, like a Chloe or LV handbag or even Coach and Prada, that sort of thing. But I don't like the price tag that it comes with. I don't want to spend that much money on a handbag. It's not like I'm going to keep it for years and years and years and not change it at all. I like variety, so I want to have a lot of different type of handbag that goes along with different clothes. I randomly googled stuff and I found a few handbags on Amazon and the damage was done. This is back in January by the way. I bought all of this at the beginning of the year, four different occasions with different plans and I haven't even used most of it. These are the things that I ended up with and I wanted to talk you through it, okay? It's really, really useful and I hope you enjoy it. The first handbag I want to show you is the one that I normally carry for work. I usually have one for work and one for casual days, one for Sunday best. Um, different sort of handbag for everything. I kind of prefer to have my work handbag as work handbag so I can keep my work related stuff in there and I don't have to fidget around with things in the morning or even in the evening looking for different things. So this was my choice of handbag for work. It's a regular tote bag that I have. Now it came in a set of four. So you have a tote bag and then you've got this casual sling bag sort of a thing and an envelope clutch and it also came with one of those small card holders. I don't remember where it is, I can't find it now. But it comes with a card holder which has this thing on top of it. Let me show you the work bag. This one is a standard tote bag. It's only got one big compartment inside. It doesn't have different sections. Usually I prefer different sections, but this one works well for work anyway. It has one small zip inside. It's got two other smaller compartments for handphone, maybe for key or for small things. And it has another zip on the outside that you can use also. Um, it works really, really well for work. I can dump in my lunch. I can dump my water bottle inside my purse, um, my key, my phone. I don't really take anything else for work, but it's just easy to throw things in and take it out. This handbag in the set is something that I would use on a daily basis. I had a black handbag that looked a little bit like Gucci and that was my favorite, absolute favorite. I had it for the whole of last year and it broke on me while I was away on holiday. That's when I needed to buy another bag and replace it, but it just didn't work the same at all. So I ended up wanting to buy this for a daily use. Now this also is one big compartment, but it has a standard zip behind and a standard compartment for handphone and a smaller pouch in there. Um, really plain, really simple. I like it, it looks really good with a lot of things. The only thing that I don't quite like with this is this, this strap. It doesn't look very nice. It would have been better if it were to be the dark brown like this zipper up here. So it would have been a bit more classier with that. But oh well, I'll just have to do it. It's really nice anyway. This envelope pouch. Um, I'm not one for carrying clutches. I do have a few clutches that I hardly use. But when I saw this, I thought it's quite handy. Um, maybe it's something that I want to try and use. It comes with this this strap thing, whatever you call it, that you can clip it onto this and put it around your wrist if you want it to. Otherwise, just carry it like a regular clutch itself. You don't need the wrist strap on it. I would tend to wear this with my dress, maybe an evening gown. 
and pair it up with a with a pair of heels or maybe even flats. I think it'll actually look good with the evening gown and sneakers also. Also bought another handbag for work. I needed a more professional looking black handbag. I already had one black handbag last year but I wasn't really happy with it. I had to travel a few times for work last year and I carried that handbag because that was the only black one that I had and I wasn't really happy with the shape and the design and the size of it. And this year I was meant to travel to a few places for work again. So I was looking for another black handbag for work which is more professional and I found this. It's a standard black handbag. It's a very good size. It's got this strap here that you can carry it as a strap or you can carry it as a long strap over here. It's got a zip behind and then it has another zip here and a standard um, one compartment inside with it. You know the standard small zip and another compartment for your phone? I've still got the paper in here to hold it in shape. Um, I was meant to travel this year but I didn't so I've not even used it. I still keep most of my handbags in its dust bag. So those two were my work handbags and then the remaining were casual handbags for different purposes. Either casual or more formal, dressier handbags. This one is one of the casual handbags that I bought. I thought it would be really good for holidays, even for local weekends or just regular daily use. It's um, the one with the gold detail in there, one standard compartment. It's got a compartment in here, it's got a zip inside and the regular handphone holder inside. It has this strap that comes adjustable, so it's really handy that way. You can wear it um, as a crossbody bag, you can carry it on one side of your shoulder. I've not used it on a holiday yet because I haven't been on a holiday since buying this, but I've used it for, you know, regular weekend and stuff and it's really nice. The next one is very similar to the Chloe handbag itself. I wasn't too fond of the design but I thought it looks different, it's a unique shape, it looks nice. So I found this on Amazon but this was on Amazon Global, it wasn't the UK one. Um, so I had to pay a bit on tax and stuff but still worth it. It's a fraction of the price from the regular handbag. So it comes with these gold um, ring thing, what do you call it? Gold clasp, you can either carry it this way or you know if you carry it with a strap itself it looks like this it's got a compartment behind and then it opens up with a magnetic buckle and there's one compartment it's a bit small on the inside oh there it is this is the thing that I was looking for this is a card holder that came with my work um, handbag obviously I haven't used it don't know if I'll be using it or not but that should be with that um, and I've got a pen in here I haven't used this bag yet but I have pens in all of my handbags so I put a pen in there in preparation to use it. I was going to wear this with uh, maybe formal dresses like formal events, maybe even with Punjabi suits and saris. It will look really nice for one of those formal events and occasions. Hopefully I will get to wear it sometime soon. The next handbag is meant to be a bit of a dressy handbag. To be honest. I didn't quite like the colour when it came but I had already returned a lot of stuff back to Amazon when it came and I was a little bit fed up of doing that again and it wasn't too expensive so I thought okay let's just keep it for a change. I haven't really found anything appropriate to wear with this bag um, so it looks like this. I like the design it's somewhat like that you know the Chanel boy bag if I'm not mistaken so it's that kind of a quilt print. Um, gold detail on there and it's got this strap here which doesn't hurt your shoulder so that's really good. You can either leave this in front if you have this on your strap or if you wanted to carry it like this you can put the strap back inside and you can carry your bag like this. It's got a metallic clasp and a very small compartment inside um, but I think it'll be okay. I kind of looked at it with some of my dresses and I think this will go well with one of my summer dresses. It'll even go well with a little back, black dress, just a casual handbag. Maybe not casual, a bit more dressier for casual clothes. The last handbag is probably the least of my favourite. It was also the cheapest, it was only £3 odd, but it took about 4-5 to five weeks for it to come because it came all the way from China. It's this one over here. The quality is not all that great at all. You can either use it as a clutch bag or you can use it as a shoulder bag. It comes with a strap. 
but the strap is the one that gives it away that the quality is not all that great. This part is fine, the metallic part is fine, um, but this one, this strap over here is really really bad. So I was going to just put this back in here and use it as a clutch bag and carry it as a clutch bag with some of my um, dresses. You could probably even use it for formal events, it's not too bad at all. It's just how you carry it. It's not about your bag carrying you, but it's about you carrying your bags and you wearing your clothes. Those are all the handbags that I bought. Now that I've showed you everything and spoken through everything, it doesn't feel like it was quite a lot. It just feels like it's a regular handbag. But still, um, you probably don't need everything. But I just want to point out to say that you don't necessarily need to spend thousands of pounds on designer handbags. There are dupes, very similar to these ones that I got. And there are other handbags which works really well, really good quality, very good finishing. And it's just for the fraction of a price. So if you want variety, if you want a lot of options, these are the best deals and Amazon is such a good place to buy these things. The only thing is that you may not be able to see everything properly as in the pictures don't show the quality really well. To be fair, before I kept all of these things there were a few other handbags that I ordered and I didn't like the finishing at all so I returned all of those and then I ordered different ones. These are the ones that I'm happy with for the time being and I'm going to keep all of these things. I probably don't have clothes to wear for all of these things. So I maybe now need to go and find clothes to suit my handbag, but you get the gist of it. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some wisdom in some of the things that you can get from Amazon if you've had your eye on expensive designer handbags. I hope these gave you some idea of designer dupes. They are not claiming to be the exact original brand at all, so there's no cheating whatsoever on that. It's just inspired by those designer handbags. So if you like the designs of the designer handbags, these might work for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked it. I'll attach some of the links for the handbags which are available. Some of them are available, some of them are no longer available. So I'll attach some of the links. If you do buy something from that, let me know and maybe share your picture with me on Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram, I write a blog every week and I upload videos every week also. So follow me everywhere, I will put a link down for everything. Have a nice day, bye!